Hey everybody, so I haven't made a video in a while and this new year was kind of a rough start for me. I was kind of sick. So I'm just now getting around to talking to you about the Bring Back My Bars that are available only in January. I know January's half over, but you still have plenty of time to get these. Um, what Sensi does twice a year is we all vote. Consultant customers, anyone can vote on usually about 20 bars, uh, fan favorites, consultant favorites that people want to bring back, and then the, they're all totaled up, all the votes and they'll bring back 20. This time, actually, they brought back 25. So some of these, since I'm pretty new to Scentsy, these are all pretty much new to me. So I found some definite favorites among this group. So I'm going to on the list um, of the flyer, bring back my bar flyer, with some descriptions and my thoughts on the scents, and um, you can message me any questions you have about them. So first, we're starting with Banana Rama, And as you can imagine, it's banana. And this is Laffy Taffy. This is Banana Laffy Taffy. The description is just sweet golden ripe bananas, but this is Banana Laffy Taffy in a nutshell. Now, I, I really like it. I don't know if I would warm it in my house, but it is fun. Um, it's really sweet. A kid would probably really like this. After that, we have Lavender Vanilla, which is described as a relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. And this is great because I'm not an overwhelming lavender fan, I'm not a big vanilla fan, but the mixture of these two, they kind of balance each other out, and uh, it's a really nice, relaxing scent. You could put this in a bedroom, um, a bathroom, I don't think it would be overpowering. Really, really nice. Uh, then we have Cashmere, which is described as sheer floral bouquet, combines Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. Bergamot, I believe that's how you say it. This one's kind of hard to smell for me in this. But it's perfumey. I'm not a big fan of perfumey smells, but it is definitely a nice deep floral scent. This would also be good in a bedroom. Just not a big fan of floral scents, but it's it's nice if that's what you know the thing is. Uh, next up, we have vanilla walnut, which is kind of self-explanatory: a warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. And this I do like. It's a bakery scent. If you like bakery scents, and you do get the nutty walnut smell and then that sweet after of vanilla this would be good in the kitchen anytime I mean I warm my winter scents anytime so really in a kitchen who doesn't like it to smell like you're baking um, next we have speaking of baking we have cherry almond pie this is kind of a, a mixed you get a mixed reaction when people smell this scent it's Orville's favorite dessert graham crackers sweet almond cr cream and cherries and that is cherry almond pie. It's amazing. I smell each part of that. I smell the graham crackers, the cherries, the almond. I really like this. Um, a lot of people don't. I would warm this in my kitchen. It definitely, it smells like exactly what it says. It's cherry almond pie. Mm, I could eat that. It's really great. Okay, next we have watermelon patch, another fruity scent. This is sweet ripened, vine ripened watermelon. And this is a this is a watermelon Jolly Rancher, like so good or um, Bubblicious watermelon Bubblicious. Might be dating myself on that. I don't know if they sell that anymore. I've been eating that in years, but it smells so good. This too, it. it I don't know if I'd warm this a kid's room. Like I said, you know, kids really love that sort of thing. But it does smell. It's fun. If you like a fruit scent, watermelon patch would be a good one. Next is coffee tree. Bold and sophisticated, wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. So, this is just like walking into a coffee shop. And I, I, I like coffee, not a huge coffee fan, but I love the smell. And this, around your house, would just be so nice. Or, say you have a, an office, it's very welcoming, that warm coffee scent. I really love it. Because mm. we have a mocha doodle, but that's more like a sweetened coffee. This is just, for me, just a coffee smell. I really like it. Uh, next we have Wild Black Cherry. Sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old-fashioned black cherry soda. And that's exactly what it smells like to me. It's a little sweet, but it, it smells like cherry cola. Um, some people say it's a little medicinal, like a cough syrup, and I can see that, but for me, I just smell mm, cherry cola. It's, I don't think it would be, uh, it's, it's pretty strong. So if you, you know, I wouldn't do this in like a bath or maybe a living room if you like a cherry scent. It's really nice. Uh, then we have ginger snap. Ginger and spice with butter and vanilla just like the classic cookie. 
and it is, it's not like a, it is, smells just like a gingerbread cookie. Ginger snaps, obviously, hence the name. Mm, it's really good. This would be good in the in the kitchen. It's not too heavy. It's not an overwhelming bakery scent, so if you like that kind of smell, that would be good for you. Um, next up, Grape Granita. Sun-warmed grape and pineapple with an undertone of honeysuckle. I wasn't expecting to like this, but I actually do, because sometimes grape can be a little medicinal as well. It can be kind of sickening sweet, but this, I think they balance it with the pineapple and the honeysuckle. It's fruity without being obnoxious, in my mind. I really like it. I would put this in my room. Mm. Mm. Grape Granita. Um, then we have Autumn Stroll. This is a kind of a long description. Amble under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm wood incense to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. It's quite a description. And it it is all those things. It's like you're walking in the woods. Maybe you can smell like a fire in the distance, like a fireplace. Mm, it's deep without being too masculine. Mm, this is this would be really nice. It is like sitting next to, I don't know, you're like sitting in going for a walk, sit next to the fire afterwards. It's oh, it's really nice. You get that spiciness too. It's really, really, it's a really good scent. Um, next up, Inner Peace. Earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. This is super clean, almost soapy. Oh, it's pretty soapy, but it's such a clean scent. This would be, if, if you like that clean scent, maybe like a clean breeze or a clothesline, but those may be a little strong for you. This seems really light. Mm, I really love this. Imagine this next to your laundry room or, you know, even in, even in your bedroom. If you have boys and you want to smell like they do their laundry, inner piece is good. Um, next up we have Black Ruby. Juicy plum black cherry sparkling persimmon with an untamed vanilla and hibiscus. A luminous deep fragrance. So black Ruby. Mm, this is, yeah, you, you have the cherry but it's deepened with that plum. And the little floral from the hibiscus, it's really, really nice. Mm, it's it's a it's not as sweet a cherry if you're if you like cherry but maybe you're not like a super fruity scent fan this would be a good one i really like that black ruby mm. um next we have my home a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent it says it's a must try let's find out this is good i prefer um if i'm gonna go this route it's gonna be like christmas cottage it's you definitely get that cinnamon floral um it's nice it's a lighter version of like a christmas cottage type of scent cinnamony but it's nice if you want that sort of homey cinnamon scent but on the lighter end i would say my home is good mm, people really love that one i'm excited because i'm experiencing these all for the first time um cherry vanilla and i am a cherry fan so this excites me a delightful swirl of candy cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream and that is it. I'm smelling too many things, now my nose is twitching. But that, oh, that's really good. This, now if you're kind of scared off by cherry almond pie, because it's pretty sweet, this is a tamer version of something similar. You get the cherry, but it's it's toned down with that, with that um, I don't know, the almond, and it's not too strong. Mm, that's a really good one, cherry vanilla. I like that one. Um, next we have ocean. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Oh, it's really nice. That's a clean scent. Oh, it just smells so, so good. And we have this in um, the laundry line, I believe, and people rave about it, but I've never been able to smell it in, in a bar. I'm excited to get this and uh, get a bar for myself and warm it. This is definitely a favorite for me out of the set. It's so clean and just fresh. Oh, I, I ocean. Put that on here, it's a favorite. Um, next we have French Kiss. Sweet fig tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. This is a little perfumey for me, kind of like, um, which one was that? Cashmere. But it's really, it's pretty. I definitely get that. It smells kind of like, um, what is that? Brown sugar and fig, Bath and Body Works. It does smell like that. It's not as perfumey as cashmere, so this one would be more for me. Mm, it's really, really nice. Mm. Yummy, yummy. 
Um, next up we have Zen Garden, a dewy sweet bloom of ripe honeydew, soft freesia, and water lotus. Mm, that's good too. You get the honeydew, and I'm not a big honeydew fan, but I guess mixed with the, um, the freesia and the, the, the floral scents, it, it's not as um, sweet to me. This would be good. This is, a, this is a fresh scent too. It smells like you're in a spa almost, which, I mean, who doesn't want to date the spa, so. Mm. Zen Garden. Really, really nice. I'm going to put that over here. Um, next we have Hemingway. Rich apples, oh, I'm sorry, rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. Let's see. Get my sniffer ready. That smells good. It's it's a little masculine, but you get the apple underneath the, um, the woodsy smell. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Hemingway. It's on the deeper end, but man, I really, really, really love this. Yeah, it's like that the sweet apple mixed with the woodsy spice smell is really nice. Okay, that's a favorite. Hemingway. Yes, I'll be ordering that. Um, next up, Huckleberry Sage. Like finding an unexpected winter berry patch. Tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage. Hmm. I don't smell any sage right off the bat. Sometimes if you warm it up. I do smell berries, but it's really light. It's, it's very nice. But, hmm, I don't get the sage. But I do get berries, and I'm not familiar with the huckleberry, but I do smell like a cranberry sort of thing there, so I would say that's, that's what I'm getting. Hmm, I do like that huckleberry sage. It's lovely. Um, these next five are the additional ones. So normally they do the 20, so these ones are extras um, that they brought back. This one's Flutter. Delicate orange blossoms and whipped almond cream float above a bed of bright lemon verbi verbena. Oh, you can smell all those. The orange and the creamy scent. It's like, um, oh, right off the bat, I get the orange and like the, the whipped cream. Oh, that smells really good. Flutter. It's not too heavy. It's not too sweet. It's a really nice mixture of those two things. Mmm. Yeah, I like flutter. Put that over my pile. Uh, next we have cranberry bread, warm bread with just the right amount of spices, cranberries, and orange zest. Now what's funny about this one is I get no bread, but it smells, it does smell very good. It definitely smells like, it, it smells spicy, cinnamon, like, um, like potpourri. So it is very nice. I think cranberry bread's a little misleading of a name, but it's, it's definitely a good home, homey smell. You definitely get the cranberry with the spices, a little orange. Mm, that is nice. I think they just shouldn't maybe call it cranberry bread. Um, sangria. Soft tones of musk, cyclamen, and jasmine blends with the delicate scent of vanilla. I love this. I'm not a sangria fan either, but the smell. It's fruity without being overwhelming. Mm, it's it, You definitely get that scent of the, the wine type of thing they're saying with the sangria. It's, it's, it's deep, it's warm. And then there's that vanilla background, it's kind of sweet. Mm. Sangria is a favorite for Lori. Um, next we have Lux Vanilla. I read you the Lux Vanilla for the sangria, which I should have realized didn't make any sense. Um, sangria is perfectly blended Brazilian oranges, Kearns and Merlot, duh, Merlot. Lux Vanilla is the soft tones of musk, cyclamen, and jasmine blends with the delicate scent of vanilla. Mmm, it's kind of powdery, vanilla powdery smell to it. It's very, it's nice. It's clean. It's not overwhelming. It's not. The vanilla is tempered with that musky scent. That's very nice. I mixed up those descriptions, but either way. Either way, I do love Sangria very much. Lux Vanilla, mm, that's good in a bedroom. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm not, you know, musky. You know, it smells like that vanilla musk perfume. I, I wore that once upon a time. And it's exactly what that smells like to me. Lux Vanilla. Last, but certainly not least, we have Tingelo. A melange of sweet fruit and tangy citrus. Tangelo lemon apricot enhanced by fragrant lychee berry? I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure of it. This is super light. 
and it is just a blend of, of citrus, but the sweeter citrus. Mm, it's probably that apricot, which I love apricot. This is really nice. If you like, like again, if you like something fruity, but it's not overwhelming, it's not gonna make be like sickening in your house. Mm, that's a really good tangelo. So I guess my favorites, we got Ocean, Zen Garden, Hemingway, Flutter, Sangria, and I'm gonna have to go with the cherry almond pie because I just really love that. Mm. Every time I smell it, I smell a little bit different. Like the almond, the cherry, the vanilla. So these are on sale. Uh, these are available through the end of January. Um, they're five dollar, just like the regular bars. Five dollars for one, three for fourteen, six for twenty-five, or you can get all twenty-five for a hundred five dollars which is a twenty dollar savings if you have any questions uh feel free to message me of course i'm always available i'm going to be closing up some parties so if you want if you're local and you want some free shipping message me and i'll be back to talk about some other great specials in january that we're having and i hope you enjoy the video thanks bye